Okay, so how's everybody doing there? So I want to talk to you about something here that's a phenomena that is something that happens when you use many layers and coats of paint and clear coats, etc. And uh, I'd like to call it a, maybe a fortunate anomaly, a fortunate anomaly. And I want to point out, out to you, um, although maybe some would disagree. I mean, I don't know. I don't really care, like sometimes what happens to a model, because let's just say you build a uh, 100 models of whatever subject, like they're not all going to turn out the way you want them to. Like they just don't. That's just the nature of the game. And anybody that's built models, kits, scratch, build, kit, bed, whatever, enough and long enough knows that, right? Now, sometimes anomalies occur, and I want to point to you uh, what happened with this. And I've endorsed this product before, and I still really like it. Okay, this Vallejo acrylic matte varnish. I use their satin and gloss. And I would say that 99 times out of 100, I don't really have any issues with it. Maybe 98 <laughs> times I don't. But every once in a while, I get this kind of um, chalky kind of uh, after I spray a model it, it it makes things a little bit chalky and you know what you might not want that on your uh, nice Tamiya Formula One car um, but you might want it on your bulldozer by AMT or something do you know what I mean like I sprayed like I haven't painted this completely but I like to matte or seal oftentimes with uh, satin but I decided to just do a matte finish on this Okay, just to seal it up because it protects the paint from scratches, okay? And if I put any other paints on top of it, like, uh, it's a barrier to protect. Uh, now, I wouldn't put any isopropyl on this, although I, all the paint that you see on here is mostly isopropyl-based Tamiya with Vallejo Air mixed with water, okay? But when I sprayed this, these model parts... This is the pleasing result that I got. Like, this didn't look quite like this. I wasn't totally happy with it, but now I'm stunned by it. I really am. Like, I didn't think... Like, I laid up this patchwork and everything and all the detail, obviously. And I was laying on layers, and I did a sample piece, which I want to show you. Okay. Like this. Okay. That I really liked. Like that which I did with Vallejo Air Paint, okay? But when I painted this, it didn't quite turn out like that. It was more darker like this, and I wasn't that happy with it, to be honest with you. But when I took it outside, and I just put a really heavy coat of this acrylic matte medium, or a matte varnish by Vallejo. And I can't believe how cool it looks when it dried. Like, there's this tiny sort of dusty you know, pigmented kind of, like for HO scale, I just love that, man. Like, see, so this is where you can get lucky. <laughs> and this, like this is done. I'm not touching this. Uh, the only thing that's going on here is all the GAC, like, you know, the uh, stainless steel, you know, or aluminum uh, grill stack that's come out of here, the air conditioner. There's a vent over the bathroom, I think, and then a, a water drain right around here with the green. Like even that, like I had some green on there and the way that matte finish modeled it. Oh, man, I just love that. Okay. And that drops onto this roof substructure right here like that. Okay. And I haven't installed the lighting yet, but that's... But that's why I did that, right? So now I can, that's at my lesion. I can do the lighting now. This is ready for that. Now, I just want to show you that that same sort of uh, chalky finish didn't really occur on here, but it did ever so slightly. And I just love it, man. I love it. You know, because to be honest with you, I was not happy. You know, I mean, I was okay with it. But now th this is, I mean, I don't know what to say. I I've been blessed by this anomaly that occurred that I did not predict. So I don't know what to say about that. Other than that, I feel really good that that's sealed and done. Now, I just wanted to show you this before I just explain something on here, too. This is a little template with tiny little tack, like roof tack nails, that I 
I was going to use this to, as an airbrush just to spray. Probably it's just to finish with sort of a dark gray blue. But I'm going to try it on this piece first and see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'm just going to leave this. But I might, if it looks good, then that'll be a really cool little detail. Okay? Now, I just want to point out the same effect that happened on this. It didn't really happen on this lower pony wall here. Nor did it happen on the, the bar. Okay? I was okay if it would have happened on this back wall because this wall is faded and old. But look what happened with the brick. I really like that. Like I haven't put the mortar wipe on this yet. And I might even do a little bit of wet sanding here and there. We'll see. But I just love the way that turned out. That's almost chalky, random kind of effect is another layer that I never saw coming that I'm really glad it happened. It's almost got that lime kind of look. And I know that if I give this a super light rub with like 2000, you know, the really super fine, you know, for polishing paint, uh, sandpaper that you can get at any like Canadian Tire or hardware store. I know that this is a work, still a work in progress and I want to really be really pleased with this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a painting kind of a, a sign that's painted on here. Some old weathered sign I haven't decided yet, just on this side probably, because there'll be some trash bins back here. And then a, a downspout pipe here, etc. And then, of course, I got to do the granite. But I'm really pleased so far with the way this all turned out. Um, it's just, uh, you know, like when things like that happen, you know, it makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? So this slides in. And I just want to make sure that I don't catch this little fascia trim, lower crown trim on there. You can see a little bit of it happened on here there, see? But that, I'm okay with that. I can probably tone that down with a wash anyway. So this is the first time that this goes in, okay, on camera. And then you can kind of see there how that's looking. And then this drops in. Like that. And the way this worked out, I'm really pleased so far. Okay. Isn't that cool? Getting close and really pleased with the diner model and how it's turning out. Cheers.